Hey, what's going on guys? Coming again the year. Last video we've created an assembler to convert user-defined mnemonics to binary executable to be run uh, to run later on on Bayonetta's 8-bit breadboard computer emulator. In this video, uh, let's write a disassembler so that if we have a sort of a binary file, uh, like like this one, for instance, like if we just say uh, bin test dot bin so that to convert this binary data into a sort of a uh, something that, that looks like this and even uh, on top of this um, I would like to provide uh, the commentaries for every line uh, for every line so that it prints something like description that looks like this uh, that is available in the original instruction set so if you're interested without further ado let's actually start coding okay so here i just create a new file uh, call it disassem.py okay and let me just grab the header here so this is gonna be disassembler okay that should be fairly enough Okay, so so we'll use the sys for referencing the command line arguments. Well, let's start uh, open with opening binary file. So with open, uh, well for now let's just hard code the path. So I say bin slash test. Uh, bin we want to read bytes as file and let's print um, f.read and python3 disassem.py so here we go uh, here, here are our bytes but it's not uh, handed to work with them like this so I use the list comprehension here to say simply um, so let's convert to the integer for I in this list now we have the list of integers which is better to work with but still not really comfortable so here uh, say binary program uh, is equal to like this for instance and here um, binary uh, sorry so just reinitializing this list okay and then once we we done uh, we can say print uh, this time I want to j j just for for easy easiness of reading mm. <coughs> Let's have a look uh, at the hexadecimal values. So these are the hexadecimal strings. Yeah, that was much better, much easier. Okay, and from now on, um, from now on we can start, we can already start extracting the opcode um, and the argument if, if available. So let's start by extracting opcode. Uh, opcode, so opcode is going to be equal to well uh yeah we need to yeah first first we need to loop over program bytes and for let's call it instruction in program bin like this and now uh now we want to extract the opcode we don't need this anymore opcode is going to be instruction 
speedwise n with the zero x f zero so the uh, higher four bits and then we want to right shift this by four and then we want to extract the argument no matter if it's available or not uh, argument is going to be equal to instruction was then with 0x zero 0f zero the lower four bits and now let's print opcode opcode and the argument so let's have a look okay um and let's also do this in hexadecimal or it's just easier to work with because the first uh in hexadecimal the first uh digit is the opcode the second digit is the argument so far so good so now we can mm, uh, ignore those uh arguments that are equal to zero okay and here i'm just wondering yeah um uh yeah just thinking how me how to deal with the data but anyway um let's grab the instruction set we'll still we still will need this right um let's put it here mm. i'm just wondering no it's probably so we have the instruct uh we have this uh, so this should be now a list we're going to be using the opcode as the index to index this list uh, yeah we should be using this as an index Uh, and that is not available here. We will never have that. Okay. So let's say here, I just want uh, upcodes index by the upcode. List and extent of range. Well, this is interesting. Mm. goes after sab the out do we have out here um, um, I just want to see which one fails. Um, zero three. I just want to see which one kind of fails here. Um, zero x e which is 14 ah, okay mm -hmm. yes we want to, to so this this one should be 14th this should be 15th so zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven 12 13 14 yeah now this should work okay so far so good um uh, we probably can uh put them into a single line here as well well there is no much need having those like uh in a row in a column mm. 
Yeah, I know long lines is not the best ever thing in Python, but um, why to take space? We don't really need that, right? Yeah, and then when it comes to the descriptions, I will probably yeah make them going next. Okay, yeah, this this might make sense. So we get now we got this. Uh, we do have the mapping already for uh, for the upcodes. Um, okay, so we got the upcode. We got the mnemonics. Uh, we got the argument. Yeah. All right. So we actually don't need, uh, we don't actually need this one here anymore. Okay. Um, uh, here. The only reason we can get here is the unknown upcode. Yeah, so um, what else? And then it also would be nice to print to print this description. So, um, I just grabbed this in terms of, I don't need a similar. So here is the deal. So here we have the instruction descriptions. And, uh, description in here. What I do, I just take the list of strings that would be referenced by by the upcodes, just like the mnemonics. But instead, here I will have one, two, three, four, five, one. Two, three, four, five. <clears throat> yeah, I think this should be just just the case. Comma. Okay, so nothing wrong here. And the indentation. And it's still, no, it doesn't confirm, no operation, nope. Okay, now, um, uh, now I want to say, <laughs> plus in description index by the upcode okay uh well, it's a little bit too long um yeah this Yes, because <laughs> because it's just too long, it doesn't kind of work. Uh, I don't like how this works. Mm. Okay. 
Well, I don't know what's the better way. Uh, well, the problem is that if the console is, is small, it just malforms. Um, so maybe, well, I could have created some custom, could have created some custom messages but apparently um yeah this is not good because if i try to yeah this is not good so So let's say a register equals um, RAM indexed by x x x, and we'll we'll replace this uh, here. We say equals. Uh, then equals A plus B. Uh, yeah. Hopefully this is going to be a little bit more self-explanatory. A minus B. So here we can say equals register A. This is okay. Uh, okay, conditional jump. Let's make it like this. Of a register, and let's just drop here. Yeah, uh, this is much better now. Now we need to replace this x x x with. Um, with the argument, if available, is this always going to be available? Yeah, it's it's always going to be available. So here, the replace uh, x x x x with uh, with the argument, and let's make it hex. Okay. Yeah, so a register equals to uh, let's say equals to the value at equals. Here we can say value at a 
and here equals to the immediate four bit argument value. Uh, It's not a, it's that explicitly clear now that the B register gets initialized. Let's say plus B, and then what exactly the B is. Which is... Yeah. I think this should be okay. So LDA zero x eight uh, a register equals to the value at RAM uh, indexed by zero x eight a register uh, equals a plus b, where b is the value of RAM. Okay, at nine this is RAM at a. All right. Output contents of a register, no operation, no operation. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, this seems like this seems like it is it. Okay, so just to give it a bit more, a couple more tests. Um, uh, Python three. Yeah. Uh, now it's hard coded, so. Let's add the logic to get the file name from uh, get the file name from the command line argument. So extract file name. So file name equals to sys dot v one. And want to try this and accept and say print usage uh, python3 dsm.py and path to file.bin okay and then say sys.exit okay so yeah now prints the usage so far so good so now we can say bin test dot bin and uh well actually it does work but that's because uh <laughs> it actually works with the hard coded ones if we just try some somewhat different it's just Prints the same, which is not exactly what we need. So we need to replace the file name here. Okay, and for instance, let's have a look at the Fibonacci. Okay. Yeah, uh, so the problem is, so if this is the jump carry or... Uh, yeah, we need to have... Yeah, first of all, it's a little bit too long. And secondly... Uh, secondly... Well, actually, hold on a sec. No, it's going to be like... The, yeah, it's just... Yeah. Uh, nope. It's not. Mm. 
I will now read if it may make sense or not. And now I just need the, uh, the extra spaces for jump carry. And so here, let's say if opcodes opcode is equal to jump carry or jump zero because these only two letters in this case I want to print and nothing at the end okay so now I see like it gets shifted which is good and uh, yeah, so this program countering it goes from there. Let's say if carry, if zero flag. Um, Okay, now it's much better. So let's try to read through um, the disassembled version. So we just took the Fibonacci.bin, which is, by the way, to give you an idea how this looks. So this is how uh, the, Fibon the program printed the Fibonacci sequence uh, using Benator's assembly. Um, looks like in binary and here we've just disassembled this uh with this sort of a file so we have uh a register a register to the immediate four bit argument uh so hold on, hold on a sec uh equals um a register equals to the immediate four bit argument value Let's say to the immediate value mm, of I like this. Yeah. So a register equals to the immediate value of one, which is good. Value at RAM 0x e equals to the register A. Okay, register equals uh, to the immediate value of zero, so then we reset it. Okay, value at RAM 0xF equals to register A. Mm. Okay, alpha contents of A register. A register equals to the value of RAM at 0xE. Okay, register equals A plus B. Okay, B, which is the value at RAM. 0xf value equals to the register a output okay jump configure says program counter to xd if carry flag is set okay yeah one more thing um uh we need to to have to print the addresses um it would be easier to to see like the address of where where it goes. I'm just wondering. Oh, sorry. Um, so here, yes, uh, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm. 
can I just say enumerate it's probably stop working after yeah uh, it just doesn't work like this uh, so let's say for can we use hi in let's call it dress in range like this uh, uh, upcode is gonna be program bin indexed by the address all right and now we can print the hex address and no not like this mm. nope like this so yeah uh, now it makes more sense because we have the addresses now and probably uh, yeah probably like this so now if we say like this jump carry so sets to 0xd and we can already see where exactly this label is well, this address is and 0xd is here so we know that if that jump uh, on carry flag that happens here so we have the, the carry flag being set up uh, uh, being equal to true basically in this case we jump here and yeah in this case we literally hold the execution so if, if we reach the carry flag then we know that what happens next next we just stop the execution that's pretty much all about it yeah so far so good so yeah we have a couple we have a few more uh we have a few more uh okay a register equals to the value of uh, the ram eight a register equals a plus b b is the value at ram x9 uh, uh ram 0x09 okay subtract from the a and again like we see like so where this ram at 0x a so ram 0x 0a is here so here the b takes the value of 2 and we can easily see this here the uh, the b takes the value of uh, 3 here so ram, ram index by 9 is here ram index by 8 or 10 is here so we can reference these values quite easily okay so let's have a look at count.bin so it also looks like a disassembled program so far it's so good uh, it has some jumps which is cool so let's see so says program counter to 5 so from here he jumps to here so he starts sub starts start subtracting okay and on 0 he jumps to 0x02 zero zero so it literally starts adding so when it's counted to uh, 255 and then starts counting down when it counted to zero counted down to zero is then uh, starts counting up to 255 back okay um, probably one last is the Fibonacci which we had a look at and yeah and the multiplication one and also so yeah um, this kind of seems to be working nicely and apart from the disassembled uh, opcodes uh, followed by the arguments 
uh, by, by the parser arguments, by the extracted arguments. We also have uh, the specific memory addresses for every instruction, and this makes it easier to see where, example, where exactly the jumps are redirecting the program counter to. So, for instance, here it jumps to 0x8, which is here, and we start executing from here until actually print the value and stop the execution. That's it. Yeah, for some reason, some uh, some sources do contain um, this uh, trailing no operations, probably just to make the, the program size being 16 bytes. But yeah, for for our emulator, it's not essential, so we can have uh, program, programs less than 16 bytes. So that's not a problem. Okay, well, guys, this is it for my side. So um, this is pretty much all about the the entire series on programming uh, Benator's 8-bit breadboard computer emulator. So we have everything to develop for it at the moment. In the next video, I will probably make a sort of a crash course on how actually on how to actually program in this assembly. So so far we didn't have to take a look at that, but I think. Uh, if you're about to be learning assembly, it's incredibly a uh, good idea to kickstart with exactly this one because only 10 commands, that simple, and meanwhile it allows you to do really lots of things. Even though the memory size is uh, probably the biggest uh, limitation for, for this computer and for the emulator as well, but well, actually it's not that, that big deal really. And, you can change the source code for the emulator. It's not easy to do on Benator's computer to add more RAM, but here in the emulator, you can just add more RAM and uh, write bigger prog programs after. So that might be on the cards as well. But I think that sticking to the original implementation is better because this minimalism actually allows to hold everything in, in the consciousness, and it's really a better way to under understand the floor of programming and how things work. This is it from my side. Thanks for watching. Until next time, and take care.